welcome back to the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Gene. Yes, I'm wearing my Iowa color. I'm so proud of Iowa. Another outstanding season. I bet you didn't see much. Oh, yeah. We don't get the Big Ten Network in California, which we did. But Iowa played Nebraska Friday on the Big Ten Network. Oh, yeah? Yeah, beat them. We beat them. How about this? Because Nebraska is such a powerhouse, legendary program. Iowa has beaten them five straight years. Take that, Nebraska. Iowa finished 9-3. and three. A great year. And uh, what, you won Paul Bunyan's jock no, strap or, no. or what? We play, gosh, uh, we uh, Floyd, we got the pig. We got the Browns pig. We played Wisconsin for something. We lost that. Oh, I think it's all. Uh, I, I think we played Nebraska for the Heartland Trophy or the Heroes Trophy. It might be for the, I don't know, something lame. We should be playing for corn, right? It should be the battle. Yeah, for, of, for it should be a corn trophy. Corn, corn cob pipe. But How about yeah, that? Yeah, but they were too short-sighted, so I think it's a, I think this one's a Heroes Trophy. But anyway, and it was at Lincoln. And Iowa kicked the field goal, 48-yarder. How about this? So they kicked the 48-yard field goal, and then, but Nebraska called the timeout. Uh, so the guy had to re-kick it, the Iowa kicker. Not a problem. Made it again. We got a great kicker. We got a better kicker at Iowa than a lot of NFL teams do. Pretty outstanding. He's got ice water in his yeah, veins. Yeah, he's awesome. Well, Gene, you know, you, you want you want something to play for? What? Uh, between uh, mm-hmm. Iowa and Nebraska. Right. How about a gallon of high fructose corn syrup? <laughs> I know. That How would about be that? great. Yeah. How about like a... Ch- a tracker, a oh. trophy on a, a tracker on a trophy, something funny like they do with the the axe is awesome. Minnesota played Wisconsin, which was a great game. They played in a blizzard, kind of, and it was really cold. And it was in Minnesota, and Wisconsin crushed them. How about a uh, U.S. government uh, farm subsidy check? How about that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah. I, the, the, both teams play for a uh, check, right? A blank check. Well, I mean, it's like forty thousand dollars, but yeah. like it's you know, it could be to uh, Nebraska or it could be Iowa. My my inside sources have said the farmers have turned on our president. Is that what are your sources telling I, I, I have no sources in this uh, sector of the government. Oh, here, here's or another the, one. Joe Biden. He's he's doing an eight because the the Iowa caucuses are in February, I believe. Uh, he's doing an eight-day journey to Iowa. That's a long time to spend in Iowa. Yeah, Gene, Gene can barely make five days. <laughs> all right? um, no, I haven't done five, yeah, in a long time. No, that's too long. Hey, Gene, hey, maybe offer him your uh, Airbnb. Yeah, How about that? Yeah. Next to the Field well, of Dreams. If he's, if he's willing to pay up, uh, we might have to check the price. He'll be in debut. Does he have sure. references? Joe, you got references? Yeah. Are they Ukrainian? <laughs> He's not very popular in Iowa, apparently. He's running behind, so he's going to spend some time there. uh, He's an election too late. uh, It's it's, it's past his time. We'll see. Well, Gene, this is uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Hello. And uh, my name is Chris Dotson. and that's Gene Stagg. And we're doing – go ahead. Yeah, the Badgers, your home state, they're in the Big Ten championship game. So yeah, they, they won the axe, Paul Bunyan's axe yep. or something like and that. And they won the uh, Big Ten West, whatever the hell that means. Gee, I, don't, I don't know. First of all, where is Paul Bunyan from? Like, what story is he, it from? I know. I He's from Brantford. Is it Brant? North Dakota? Brainerd? 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 Brainerd, Minnesota. But I think I think different places claim him. I don't, I don't remember the part of the story where he donated his, his, his axe to the NCAA. <laughs> all right? I mean, I, who, I who are we trying to that. kid here? I don't know. He, I, I think, I think Minnesota, a town in Mi- Brainerd, uh, they have a big statue of him. But I think other places claim him as well, right? Mm. Uh, it's, it's kind of like a link, uh, Abraham Lincoln thing, you know. Yeah. Uh, I, Illinois and Kentucky both claim him. Yeah. You know. But I'll tell you, Wisconsin, because I watched that game, they were very good. They were good, but. All right. Well. We can talk about college football here for a second. Oh, okay. Well, they're going to have to play They're playing the Ohio State. And Ohio State. And the uh, Big Ten Championship next year. They own Michigan. It was another ass-kicking at Michigan. I thought, I mean, they just rolled them. They steamrolled them. Whatever. Same thing Wisconsin did to Minnesota. So, yeah, well, not good. Yeah, uh, I don't. Not really competitive. But 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 Ohio State, I think they're they're huge favorites over Wisconsin. I think seventeen points maybe. So did they, they already played this year, right? 
Yes, and uh, Wisconsin. Or so that's kind of whack. State. They should they should do have some sort of rule if they already played. Well, it's Don't a let them play again. Championship game. Well, so yeah, right. It's made up anyways, right? I know, but it doesn't matter. Uh, even if a house, how about this? Even if Ohio State loses, apparently they're already a lock for the Final Four, the playoff. If Wisconsin, how is that possible? Well, because they're they're ranked. Are they undefeated? One. Yeah. Oh, if, and if Alabama Wisconsin, lost. Alabama was yeah, two losses Alabama's now, right? Out, out, out. If if Wisconsin wins, they cannot make the playoff, the Final Four. Wow. Yeah. They'll, so they'll what's get, the point? I don't know. How about we, get, let, hey, Gene, let's get Iowa in there, huh? How about we that? We were so close one year. We played in the Big Ten Championship game. We played, hello, uh, we, we played in the Big Ten Championship game against Michigan State. And if we would have won that game, we would have been in the playoff. And we lost. Michigan State scored. Uh, they had a final drive as time was running out to beat us with a touchdown. Oh. And then Iowa ended up going to the Rose Bowl where we got beat up by Stanford. Ooh-hoo. But, yeah, we've been in the Big Ten title game one time. Well, Wisconsin, right. they're good, but they're, they're – Boy, Ohio State, yeah, this is a rematch. So, oh, not Tom Brady just got intercepted. Yeah. We were watching Sunday Night Football I know. live. And then, wow. uh, so uh, uh, Michigan, they're in trouble. And then uh, Nebraska didn't make a bowl game again, so that can't sit well. And Iowa will go to a good bowl game. Yeah. All right, I, I will say. Uh, and college, Northwestern beat Illinois. College football gets a little bit more exciting near the end. Yeah, it's when awesome. It's kind of the big game when, when good was, teams actually play we, each other. Iowa's 9 and 3. Uh, Wisconsin's 10 and 2. Uh, Ohio State's 12 and all. If you uh, intercept Tom Brady's pass and you're running towards the other goal, you should just like run at Tom Brady and try to hurt yeah. him. Yeah. On your way back, make him like he tackle you, him have him hurt you. Yeah. All right, well, Gene, uh, well, we're going to go to college. I watched yep. a lot of college, but it's for all you great. college football nuts. Hey, it's time. There. It's time for the Big Ten to win a national title. So this yep. is going to be. It's either Ohio State or bust. So go, go, Buckeyes. I like. I like Ohio State. They're very arrogant, but I want them to win because of the Big Ten. So there uh, you go. yep. Yeah. All right, Gene. Uh, yeah. This is the Sunday after Thanksgiving. Uh, Gene, why don't you regale us? Oh my regale God. us with your uh, Thanksgiving. Uh, it was awesome. I watched a bit. Why well, I went to spin? Oh, did I go to spin class? Mm, I didn't. I did watch the Bears game. I did two great things. Watch the Bears. They were. Oh, you're gonna talk about that later. But anyway, watch that. Oh, the Macy's Day Parade. Fantastic. And tonight, uh, it's always a great tradition in uh, L.A. Uh, the Hollywood Christmas Parade going down Hollywood Boulevard where Eric Estrada gets to trot out his uh, red. He has this red blazer. He always hosts it every year with this uh, gal. I don't can't remember her name. But, is it, uh, isn't it Mary Hart from Entertainment it's, Tonight it's, or something? It's like similar to her. It's one of those ladies. And then, uh, But he wears this ill-fitting red blazer, and they, they prop him up once a year. So he's out of retirement, so I'm going to go to that after this. Yeah, but Thanksgiving was great. Fantastic. Loved it. Uh, although I didn't see my family. My mom drove to Wisconsin, and she almost got stuck up there. So. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, because my well, aunt lives way up in northern Wisconsin, and they got a lot of snow. Weather was not good. Well, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, here in Los Angeles, it, r- it rained the yeah. day before and that day. Did you go somewhere? Uh, <laughs> uh, I did uh, end up going to can't, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. All right. I up going there. That's awesome. I don't know, something about like mashed potatoes. It feels like you have to uh, have some yeah, sort of mashed yeah, potatoes yeah. and gravy thing. Uh-huh. And some sort of fowl yeah. uh, food thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, Gene, I, I end up going to KFC because uh, all my friends have pretty much moved away or have uh, their own family and kids and all uh-huh. that. And uh, but Gene, you know there, hey, I was not alone at Kansas, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken. There's oh. a lot. There's a long line. Wow. There's like a ton of people going there. So uh, that definitely, you know, the walk there. Yeah. You know, you feel pretty bad, but then once you kind of get there. Yeah. And you see all these other people that look f- somewhat normal. You know, not yeah. not like completely normal. You know, it's not like right. uh, you know, not like the Cleavers or anything like yeah. that. But. Uh, but then you're walking back and you see people driving and they, uh, you know, you know they're looking at your. Uh, a bag full of chicken, you know, and it's like, man, this person definitely knows I got nothing for oh, Thanksgiving. My God. Well, if you would have went home, I, I haven't gone home for Thanksgiving. I'm going to meet up with my family at Christmas, but you go home, you'd get stuck anyway, and then you'd never get back because the weather's bad. And 
flying. Yeah, all that right. rain from over here probably uh, yeah, turned into all snow. Yeah, snow. Oh, yeah, a lot of flights got canceled today. So, uh, But I will say this, Gene, yeah. uh, the grocery store has uh, pies for $3 now, wow. leftover pies, so there you go. So I already had a uh, pumpkin pie. I devoured that over the course of uh, two days. Oh, I see you got one over and here. Now I got, yeah, that's uh, cherry. Wow, good call. That's cherry, although... That mm. cherry pie was $5. It was not oh, uh, $3. I guess there's a different. It held up for another day. It's a different section. Yeah. Well, the cherry pies I, were hidden. So. I've never. I've, I've, <laughs> I, oh, yeah, we did, Diane. Oh, that's. Um, yeah. Thank you so much. Oh, look at Casey. Hey, Casey worked for Fox Sports West, an actual reporter. See, uh, On Casey, Thanksgiving? Uh, she, yeah, we will see her soon. So she's reporting for Fox Sports West down in Texas. So, Casey, we're trying to get to where you are. She gets to go to all the Cowboy games mm -hmm. oh, when yeah. they play at home. Oh, yeah, she's a big wig. First year out of college, working a big time. Oh, yep. I know, the Cowboys. Cowboys, uh, they got to go to Chicago this week, so we'll see. Hey, a lot of people are hiding out from their families, so don't feel bad. You know? All right. Yeah. All right. That's why I love the Mesa Day Parade, though. Although they had to, they had to deflate the balloons somewhat in the parade because uh, they, were, they were pretty windy in New York, I guess. All right, what was the highlight? By the way, Gina, is there like some sort of like revolution in uh, balloon technology? Right. Like lately, <laughs> like <laughs> do, are these balloons like uh, animatronic or animatronic um, now or anything like they that? They still got. They still got people. Uh, just uh, holding on for dear life, just trying not to get uh, blown away. And I guess Cat in a Hat uh, fell on one of the workers, so oh, it's yeah. dangerous. Uh, yeah, how how are people not like killed or like I, I how think, are these things not I run think into a buildings? People have been killed. I don't know if they've been killed. I mean, what if uh, you live in an apartment building and there's like a thing, you know, like a yeah. patio, and then it rubs up against it and it breaks it and falls right, down? Right. Is that bad? I think uh, I think uh, a balloon. Of Ten years ago, or so fell on a woman and maybe disabled her somehow. No, it's pretty dangerous. <laughs> Goddamn Snoopy balloon. Yeah, I'll right. that. All but right, I, I'll see at the uh, Hollywood Christmas parade tonight. They have huge balloons too, so I'll see them. But it's not windy here. All right. Well, hey, speaking of the uh, Hollywood yes. Hollywood Boulevard, you know the the Scientology uh, yeah. Celebrity Center. Right. They have this uh, nativity scene. I know they're they building do that over there every year. Yeah. They have that uh, there every Gene, year. are you gonna go see Baby Thorax? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I don't. Uh, Scientology, they do the Hollywood Christmas Parade. They have a lot of, of stuff in it, so they must have done it originally. Yeah, the, I don't, the, uh, is it Baby Christ that they're built? Um, I know, don't. In there? Yeah, was that uh. one of his science fiction books? I actually saw that movie John Travolta made. Battleship, Battle Battlefield Star, Earth, three, Battlefield Earth, Battlefield Three Thousand, which by a lot of people consider the worst movie ever made. And listen, I'm not going to stop you from saying that. Oof. Right. Wow, well, that's sacrilege. I would also like to. I I don't know. While you're getting set up, can I say hello to my other niece? Hello, my niece. Anybody out there that's related to me? Hello, love you. Very much. Yeah, there you go. See, yeah, I won't try to do a uh, personal shout. No, well, you know who you are. If you're related to me. I love you yeah, very much. You I'm well, lucky because I didn't have kids of my own. So this is – and people go, well, do you feel you let, missed out not having kids? No, because I have the greatest nieces and nephews you could ever want. Mm -hmm. All right, there you go. There so you now go. you don't have to send out any birth – or any car, <laughs> cards, no presents right. anymore. There you go. You just yeah. told America. I show up for Christmas. All right. Yeah. Well, Gene, let's talk about the uh, Chicago Bears yeah, playing the good. Detroit Lions on the Thanksgiving. Lions, the, Lions, the, Lions, the Lions are terrible. Matt Patricia is never going to coach again. Is that true? He's uh, going to get fired. I'm sure in no, some sort yeah. of capacity. Uh, yeah, they'll, they'll give him one more year. No, no. Oh, no. No. Because he's got five years, right? They're not going to pay him for four uh, years. No, he, this is his second year. Or for year. three years, I mean, right? Uh, this is and he can use the excuse that Stafford's pretty much been out for half the gotcha. season now. If they give him another year, they're just, I, I don't know. And who else are they going to get? I don't know. They've got to uh, start. They just get rid of the GM who hired them. Get get rid of everybody. Just start over. Maybe the next guy knows what he's doing. Well, the Lions did not even have uh, was it Steve Driscoll or Sean Driscoll yeah, or the, whatever. The Jeff Driscoll. Jeff Driscoll. Backup, and then they had so the he did third not play. Bog. 
Uh, David Blah. Bog. Blah, David Blah. From, from Purdue, actually. Oh, yes. He played at Purdue. And his mm. first throw I on third even, down. I've never heard of him from Purdue. I don't even remember him. Well, he threw a 75-yard touchdown on his right. first throw of the game. Where, when, when you saw that, were you a little worried? Uh, were you a little concerned? Let me see. Or did you have the sound off? And I were did you have taking the a nap? sound off, and I, I did. I didn't. What was I doing? I did miss that. <laughs> I, I didn't. So you're feeling okay then? I right. think I missed the first quarter. Uh, so when I say I watched the Bears game, <laughs> let me qualify. I didn't have the sound on, and I, I believe now, I missed the first quarter. So the Lions scored, I believe, like okay. twice uh, right in a row. We're up like 14-7 or 3 right. or something like that. And then they did an onside kick. Did you see the onside I kick? I did not. Did uh, they recover have it? You, yeah, the Lions did recover it. Oh, it was one of those sneak kicks. That's the only way you well, can get him. Well, did you see this? No. He actually kicked it into one of the Bears players, oh. and thus it was a live ball, and then they grabbed it. Wow. And I'm thinking to myself, that's a brilliant – I've never seen that before as a uh, strategy. Yeah, just kick it at the other guy. He's kick trying to – he's, r- he's running it the other way. Oh, you know, I He's not going to grab it, right? Oh, wow. That I know what you're saying. You kick it at the guy in the front line of the uh, receivers. Right, right. And uh, yeah. snatch up that ball. But I'm thinking to myself, w- why waste this on the Bears, you know? Oh, right. You want to use this on the, uh, you know, NFC Championship game. Yeah, you know, or with, uh, sell it seconds. to another team that's yeah. good. Well, I mean, the Lions aren't going to use it for an NFC Championship game. But they won still. One, one playoff game in 53 years. Is that right? Yeah, I guess. Some, something like that. Uh, yeah, it's something terrible. So. Uh, did you see Barry Sanders in the uh, booth, did. Gene? Is he gain? Is he putting on some weight, <laughs> or is that just a blouse? Yeah, I think shirt? it's tough to uh, maintain your uh, running back weight when you're 25 as opposed to when you're like 55 yeah. or something. Like, however like old he, he is. I, I didn't. I almost turned the sound up for that one. Oh, Barry, you mean you're not running uh, f- 15 miles a week right. anymore like you I, were what, as an NFL thing, football here's player? Here's I'm glad he was wearing a Detroit Lions shirt. So he's made up with the organization. Maybe uh, well, gee, if you would Megatron can be next. If you would have had the sound, well, it's going to take thirty years probably. Yeah. If you would have had the sound on, Gene. Yes. He says. Uh, he says at one point there was nothing better because they're talking about the uh, the the top one hundred. Uh, you know, it's the one hundred years of yeah. the NFL. They're right. talking about the top running backs and all this stuff. Walter Payton was ahead. Of, no, he was number one. Bear Sanders was, was number, number three. One. Yeah, Walter Payton was number five. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying about total yards. So oh, we're about yards. Right, right. But right. at one point, Barry Sanders said, uh, "There's nothing better than being an NFL running back." Wow. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, "All right, that's why you left the NFL early. That's fine. why you retired." Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's such a talk, shame. Talk, talk about a uh, you know t- turn of uh, turn of face. Yeah, this guy's all uh, I don't know, uh, Barry. Did you spend all your money already? Are you like uh, acting like you, you like the Lions now all of a sudden because yeah. uh, you need a paycheck? I guess some money could be an ambassador. It's too bad because uh, people they don't really respect Emmett Smith that much as a, the top running back. I think they respect Walter Payton obviously and Barry Sanders. So I wish he could have hung out. For a little longer to have the all-time. I think it was only like a thousand yards behind. Yeah, uh, yeah. he Walter just Payne. got passed by Frank Gore, though. I think didn't he? Yeah, he did. Oh, boo. And uh, anyway, so the Bears did win. Yeah, Trubisky was good too. He had a well. He had a bad interception, he, which I missed. He had two chances to uh, go ahead uh, at the end of the game. He had two drives. Right. First one did not pan out. They got the Bears got the ball back, and then the mm-hmm. third. I'm sorry, the second drive he got a chance. He did score. Right. They did score a touchdown, and uh, everyone's acting like uh, he was playing like Joe Montana. I know. But there. they're just relieved. I think it might have been. <laughs> he had an average day. He had three touchdowns. Again. Yeah, and he threw a bad interception, and he did something else that wasn't good. And then he did <laughs> throw over 300 yards, which I think's only happened maybe. It's uh, happened yeah, against the time. Lions. I know. A pretty and bad the team. Lions, the, Lions, the Lions had a chance to win. They definitely yeah, on, did. on their third string quarterback. Yep. So yep. I, I don't. Uh, well, Jay, here's some quotes, Gene. Today oh, was okay. Mitch's day. Yeah. Bears coach uh, Matt Nagy uh, via J.J. Uh, Stenovitz of NBA, NBC Sports Chicago. Trubisky finished 29 of 38 for 338 yards. He threw 40 passes almost and only had 338 yards. 
With three yeah. touchdowns, interception, also brought them back from an early deficit, hitting David Montgomery for the go-ahead touchdown. Um, I told him that's what special players do right there, Nagy said of the game winner. Oh, my God. That was uh, further the progression, blah, 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 blah. Gene, this is like praising your five-year-old kid for not shitting himself on the ride home. <laughs> All right? Uh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're talking about a yeah. low, really low bar here. Yeah. You had wow. one good game. Uh, so what, what week are we at? Week 13? Yeah. And he had one good game? Yeah, basically. Meanwhile, Aaron Rodgers, playing like shit, throws four touchdowns. Oh, my God. And, uh, you know. Well, it's, it's what do you they're, expect? De- Bears are so desperate for any sort because they're getting so much grief because uh, obviously they passed up on Mahomes and, uh, and Deshaun Watson. So, yeah. So uh, are the are the tri- tribaholics back on uh, back I on the bandwagon? I don't think there are any. I really don't. I mean, are people still? I mean, do people think now that he should be the starter for the rest of the season? Or yeah, I I think people are just relieved he was good. We'll we'll see. They got they got. And now they're thinking, oh, we control our own destiny. You know, if they play good, <laughs> well, they got to play the Cowboys, Minnesota, Green Bay, and someone else really good, too. So I don't know. All right. Well, let's just, I mean, we, we'll talk about the playoff right, preview right, here right. in one but moment. But at here. least they got a chance now. But this this will be a big game. They're Thursday night so football. So they're playing uh, yeah, the, the Cowboys. Cowboys. And, That's going to be a big game. A big game. Yeah. Pretty exciting. Any uh, prediction? How many sacks will Khalil Mack get? He's only had zero five all year. He's been. I don't. Uh, is, he, is he being double teamed? A whole I lot? don't know, but he's he's not making an impact. He hasn't had a. I think he had a sack last week, but he's only had I think five all year. So, and he gave up two number ones for him. But yeah, the Cowboys. All right. So oh, versus Cowboys at, I, I, at Packers, that's going to be a loss. So yeah. I'm I'm going to say Cowboys win. Yeah, I, I, think would Cowboys think need. Co- I would think the Cowboys are favored. Uh, uh, so they're going to lose two games. There right. you go, Cowboys, Packers versus play. Chiefs. Yeah, that's right. I think Chiefs don't Chiefs. lose that because right. I think they need a couple wins here. And then at the Vikings, I mean, I they, mean they, they could go, they could lose the next four games in a row. Easy, they got to go ten and six to have any chance. I would think. And what's but the record right now? Six, six and, and six. Six yeah. and six. Jeez, they're not they're not going to win four in a row. But That's for did, goddamn sure. They do have Club Dub is alive and well, so they're dancing around. I just think the Lions are de- I, they're a mess. And Matt Patricia, what the hell, <laughs> you guys? I don't get it. Yeah, they look. Hey, they look. Hey, you know, they look like they were going to win, but then uh, Mitch Trubisky got that ball. You don't want to give Mitch Trubisky the ball back with two oh minutes, Gene. He'll make you pay. Yeah, well, that, we'll see Thursday because uh, there's so much pressure. I uh, especially on the Cowboys. We'll see. Jason I, Garrett's gonna be playing for his job. Yes. Can't I, beat the I'm Bears. I'm surprised he didn't get fired Thursday. Maybe because it's Thanksgiving. Oh man, the Bills whoop them. Wow, they got their ass kicked. I mean, they scored. Now that game, I I watched a lot of, except the beginning. I I think I fell asleep. All the games were uh, pretty bad. I think that. Yeah. Uh, who really cares about the Saints and the uh, Falcons? Why Why are they showing that? Huh? Yeah. I, yeah. All right, and then uh, Green Bay Bay Green Bay played the Giants oh, today. I wish that I, the bad thing about LA, if so, I got cable. I have Spectrum TV, so we get the Rams and the Chargers. And well, then, they didn't show Chris, the no, Packer game. They, no, their early game. There was one early game because they both played in the afternoon. Uh, it was the Browns and the Steelers. That's yeah. the one game. So we got. they showed that game. They did yeah. not show the Niners Baltimore game. Oh, that's right. They didn't show that game. That was right. an awesome game. Uh, who knows? Because they, I think they showed the Rams game. I think yeah, that's but what. that was that that was a late game. The the, the no the, the ba- Baltimore San Francisco was early. It was yeah, like so why didn't they show that game? And oh my gosh, now I have a complaint. Cause, because cause you can't, both networks can't have two yeah, games. I know, that's why I know. So why did we get this? Oh my gosh, we got the Steelers and the Browns while Baltimore was playing. Uh, yeah. Oh. That's terrible. Well, We're in California. Hey, the Niners are in California. Anyway, yeah. I didn't see, so I didn't. We didn't see. I didn't see the. Green all right, well, Bay. Gene, I have Direct TV. All right, Gene. Okay. Well, I don't have Direct TV, but I have Sunday Ticket. I know, and, I'm and gonna, I watch I'm the game. That. How was the Packers? Uh, yeah. It uh, looked competitive at first, uh, right. but then uh, Green Bay made two uh, nice drives to finish up the game at the end. Aaron Rodgers was uh, pretty solid. It was he nice was, to see he's them. My, he's my fantasy quarterback. 
Yeah, so it was a nice bounce back from him uh, from last week. Yeah, I suppose right. He probably got and like then, thirty uh, points from him. What did it? Did they show Gettleman their GM? They got a clean house too. Don't I mean? Uh, Schirmer, I mean Dave, David Johnson there. is that his name? Is it Dave Johnson? Who's the quarterback? Daniel. Daniel. Jones. I mean, he's good. Daniel Jones. He's yeah. a record. No, is it Jones? I don't yeah, know. It is, Daniel no, Jones. it is Daniel Jones. He'll be good. He just needs uh, reps. Uh, he's another one. He's they gonna be a really, solid quarterback. They surprised everyone by taking him so high. He's definitely better than Mitch Trubisky, I'll tell you that much. Really? He is makes he? more consistent throws. Oh, he, yeah, for he sure. He threw a couple interceptions, didn't he? Uh, yeah, but he had guys in his face and all that stuff. He was there, he was forcing stuff, you know. They were down I, by, like, 20 know. points. The Giants fans have got to be supremely disappointed, right? They're too well, Barkley nine. is hurt. I mean, Barkley is yeah. not no, nowhere near, you know. People were t- comparing this guy to, like, uh, Barry Sanders. Hey, that's, he, why, that's what you get for drafting uh, running back number two overall. Didn't yeah, he go two? Uh, something like that. And he got he's hurt, gonna, and then all of a sudden time, he's a different by player. By the time the Giants are good, if they do get good, he's going to be beat to hell. Yep. Oh, yeah, yep. too bad. Give them less reps. They should have. I think they played them, like, for two games last year when they were completely mm-hmm. out of the playoffs. But, uh so there, I heard there are a lot of Packer fans. That's what. Uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of cheers. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So Packer fans are so great. They travel really well. But it was uh, it was a nice bounce back game. It was a nice win. Defense yeah, played they well. The point spread. That's always good for their fans. I mean, yep. they they got a schedule where I think they go home now, don't they, and play. Uh, mm. Well, funny you should say that, Gene. Let's take a oh, look okay. at the uh, playoff race. Yeah, NFL. because Packers got to win, but they have a game in Minnesota coming up. That that is that's what we're going to find out, right? But uh, yeah, it's going to be at Minnesota. All right, but so it's going to be versus the Redskins. So Redskins in Lambeau. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that up as a W, Gene. Although the Redskins yeah, won today, they're, they're uh, hot. Yeah, that that rookie quarterback ha- ha- Haskins. Game. You know, he's taking selfies with everyone. I, I know they won Hopefully, two straight. No selfies allowed in Lambo. No, right, no cell right. phones allowed in Lambo. Yeah, besmirches the game. Uh, versus the Bears. Oh, yeah. so that's so Bears in Lambo. Yep. And then they end on the road. And then at Vikings, at Lions. So yeah. they could lose at Vikings, but I got a feeling they're going to bring but their A game. But that could be the division, right? Uh, yeah, the- but the Vikings have a tough schedule though. Oh, they got to play. See, don't the Vikings are in Seattle? Uh, yeah, so they play Seattle tomorrow night yeah. on Monday yeah. or tonight, if you're releasing this. They play the Lions, probably win that, but, you know, who knows? At the Chargers. Wow, that could be By a the way, what? Line. So all of a sudden, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, the guy from the Chargers? Philip Rivers. Philip Rivers, he's washed up. I know, now everyone's like, oh, maybe like a- bench him. After they beat the Packers? Like, he wasn't washed up when they beat the Packers. Like, what oh the fuck? Oh, my gosh, I don't know. He still got, it seems like he's still got some good years left. That, the guy's a genius. He's an yeah. offensive genius, so uh, I'm sure he can uh, overcompensate, right? Mm. How about he just stands behind someone who can throw the ball better than him and tells him where to throw? Yeah. How about that? He's angry. He's got anger issues, <laughs> definitely. For being, he's got like he's, 12 kids, right? I know, and he's really religious, I think. Uh, I don't know. I think they homeschool all 12 kids. I don't know. Something like that. That probably is the best, though, right? Yeah. To do it. Although, I mean, they all have each other. Um, yeah, is, is, that, he, is that a weird cult thing that they got I, going on? I think he's in a cult, and uh, it's his own. And he still he never moved to L.A. He lives in San Diego, and he commutes, I guess. Would you rather be uh, Tom Cruise's kid or uh, Philip Rivers' Ooh. kid? Well, Tom Cruise, you grow up on your Siri? Own. Is it Siri? Yeah, That's the kid? That the <laughs> have we heard one. from Siri lately? I, like, I what's going on? disappeared long ago. Does Siri have an Instagram? I don't think so. It's, the Surrey must be like 12 now, right? No, Maybe she's probably, probably in her late 20s. It's been a long time. Christ. Uh, I don't know. We're all getting old, I think Gene. that girl takes care of her. The, all um, right. Uh, what's her name? Uh, oh. Really good. Stat Boy. Yeah, yeah. Stat Boy. All right, so versus Lions at Chargers. Uh, so we'll see what's up with that. Versus Packers. We're talking with the Vikings here. And then versus the Bears. So uh, are they, they, oh they, 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 they going to pack away Mr. Trubisky by that time? Well, or, then yeah. then uh, the Packers need them to lose tomorrow. They really do. What? So they have a, the Seahawks? Yeah. They need no, the they Seahawks need the Vikings to, to lose to Seattle tomorrow. Uh, I think it's better to have, because I think we'll have that game ahead of the Vikings for the division. I'd rather actually have the Seahawks lose so we can get the uh, home field advantage. Oh. How about yeah, that? One, I, I, hey, listen, I actually heard a quote from Aaron Rodgers today. Yeah. He said, 
to be a championship team or whatever. He goes, you got to go undefeated at home and split your road games. And the Packers are 4-2 and two on the road, but they lost a home game. So uh, they're 5-1 like, they're and one at home. And then, so can't do it, I guess, right? Yeah. Who so beat them at home? I'm trying to think. Philadelphia. Oh, Philly? Yeah, that was a Thursday night game. Completely falling apart. They lost to the Dolphins. And what the hell happened to Nick Foles? <laughs> he just should not be. This is the second time he was good in Philadelphia, got a big contract elsewhere, and totally fell apart. Well, uh, what's his face? The, the head coach for the he Eagles. Got he was uh, he was calling the right plays. Oh, okay. Doug Peterson. He was calling the right plays. I think because uh, Doug Peterson has that mentality of a backup quarterback. So when Nick Foles was the backup quarterback, right, he knew right. exactly what to call. So that's really what Doug Peterson should do. Just uh, but, but how have bad, Wentz how be bad, a backup. How bad is Nick Foles now? He got benched at halftime. Well, I, I think he's doing fine. He's, he's, uh, he's what, doing, he, he no, can get a hundred million dollar contract. I, he, there's more. I, I don't care what kind of contract you don't want. Gene, to there's suck a at your there's profession. a statue of him outside the Philadelphia I, Stadium. I know, I know. but <laughs> when you're an athlete, what more can go, you do? Okay, do you want to be a, a high paid athlete and everyone's like, oh man, what a loser. No, not no, he's not. A, he's not. A, he won a Super I, I Bowl already. But I know. But uh, well, you know, well, well from the yacht. Or, can you even hear them from your yacht? Yeah, that's the right. you turn out the music. Yeah, mm. you turn up the music, dude. Gene, people are yelling at you from across the beach. I know. Turn up the music. You make a lot of money, but still, he wants to be good. He he's he got benched for Garden Minshew. That's not possible. <laughs> a year ago, because Garden Minshew wasn't in the league a year ago. Hey. It's Put a put some uh, clay on the statue. It's Garden Minshew next to Doug Peterson right, outside right. The, uh, the, the, Philly, the new vet. Oh, that's the statue they have. They have the statue of the Philly Special. Yeah, call him the Philly Special. Yeah, on the sideline. Yep. Yep. All right. Well, Gene, that's all I got for this week. All it's right. a uh, short week. Short hey, week. So, so this week is going to be very exciting because you had the Big Ten title game. Uh, Ohio ba- State Bears, Wisconsin. Bears are playing Thursday night. Yeah, Bears Cowboys. That one I'm going to see. Packers got uh, got to go home. They got to crush the Redskins. They do. And then you got to win these games at home. Their last two home games, you just got to win. And then go on the road and win. I'm surprised you want Minnesota to win. The, the Packers, they don't want to be messing around. You got, but you, it'd be nice to have a home bye. That's for sure. Yeah, well, our home game against uh, Seattle. I mean, we're we're already a game ahead of the Vikings because we already beat them. So. Yeah, we, uh, and then we'll play them again. We'll beat them again. So. Oh, okay. Well, that's, that's the kind work. of confidence you're looking for. Yep, yep. All right, Gene. I think uh, we're gonna end it there. So, uh, any? Uh, so you're gonna go to the uh, parade tonight? So yeah, you'll be looking at new TV. Parade. See Eric Estrada and uh, Laura something or something, and then it's it's a parade where they they pull out all the. Uh, the, the soap stars that are usually in the parade, the celebrities, and, and people from, like, the Disney Channel and stuff like that. Yeah. Or <laughs> or the, the the actors from CSI, but not the main ones, the ones that maybe have a reoccurring role. And are they throwing beads? Do they th- throw beads uh, at the homeless people can. on the sidewalk? <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. Or um, you you, you got to show your tits to get uh, uh, beads? I think they throw candy and stuff. Oh my gosh! Our homeless people got rained on. Oh my God! Can you imagine? Yeah. It like, was what do like you do? Flooding. I don't know. Do hey, do? hey, how about you reevaluate your life and be like, Hey, it's raining. I'm homeless. Uh, maybe it's this sucks. Yeah. Man, yeah. I saw. Oh man, this is so terrible. I saw a lady without shoes, just like chilling mm. in the uh, in like a door or doorway or something like that. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I actually considered. I'm like, where? I'm like, can you buy a cheap pair of shoes for like five bucks? But I don't think you can, right? Right. right. I, I mean, I could have went up to her and be like, yo, uh, I got Amazon Prime. It'll be here, like, next day or something. Oh, wow. I'll meet you here next day. It doesn't really help you out for 24 hours, yeah. but, uh, hmm. you know. Hey, but the great thing is uh, no traffic for – it was no traffic for three days, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And Wednesday it was pretty uh, – everyone <laughs> – when did Wednesday become the uh, unofficial Thanksgiving day where everyone just leaves, too, Oh, my gosh. Yeah. The subway was dead on Wednesday. Yeah, so. there you go. All right. So, Gene, I think we're awesome. going <laughs> we to Hey, right. go Bears. Go Packers. Go Cubs. Yep. Go Hawkeye. Oh, Iowa. We're just waiting on our bowl, on our bowl victory. All and, right. So, and, uh, so, for Gene Steichen, this is Chris Stotts. See you guys next week.